Hello, I'm Christy Nelson and welcome to Five Talk Street. Earth Day Texas is an annual festival seeking to elevate environmental awareness and influence the way Texans live, think and work. And here to tell us all about this family friendly festival is Jillian Mott. She's the communications associate for Earth Day Texas. And before joining the organization in 2014, she worked at the Association of Fish and Wildlife Agencies and at the Smithsonian. Thanks for being here today, Jillian. Thank you so much for having me. I'm glad to be here. Now, this is the fifth anniversary for Earth Day Texas. Tell us about it. Yes, we're really excited. So this is going to be the biggest Earth Day ever. We have more than 1,100 exhibit spaces. We've exceeded all of our goals. We have just really amazing speakers um, and people coming in from all over the country to celebrate Earth Day with us. So tell us exactly what it is and what the goal is. Sure, so we aim to be a forum for these conversations, discussions, um, for environmental awareness and to make you know environmentalism, conservation relevant to everyone in their everyday lives. That's kind of our mission, hence the uh, positively influenced way Texans think, live, and work. Now you say that you have speakers there. What are some of the topics they'll be discussing? So we have, you know, someone like Corinna Gore is coming to speak about her environmental work. We have David Yarnold from um, the Audubon Society going to be talking with um, Rob Sisson from Conserve America about, you know, why environmentalism and conservation is so important to everyone. And we have speakers running the full gamut um, of environmental topics. So how do you get people involved if they're not really, if they don't know that much about these topics, they're just regular folks, how do you get them to come to this event and to learn more? Right, and that's a great question. Um, but, you know, Earth Day, it's free, it's family friendly, there's so much to do. We have a concert series, we have, um, you know, interactive activities for families and kids, and that's definitely one way to get them on board. And, you know, the other thing is that, you know, maybe some people aren't as aware of environmental issues, but there's not anyone who doesn't want to save money on their light or their water bill. Yeah, that's a very good point. So those are some <laughs> of those things you can learn how to do. Exactly, and we aim to make it really applicable to everyone's everyday life. And their everyday lives. So now, what is the Eco Expo? I understand that's the heart of the festival. What's that? It is. That's the heart of the festival, and we are all about bringing our exhibitors in um, and showcasing the amazing work that they are doing in the environmental space. So the Eco Expo are all of the exhibits that they have um, set up around Fair Park. So that's in the Centennial Hall, the Automobile Building, and around the Esplanade. Um, so they'll bring in um, examples and really engaging um, information about what they're doing. Doing. Yeah. And so it's an educational opportunity, it's an opportunity to engage with um, people who are in organizations that are doing incredible work. And it's an opportunity to get out to Dallas Fair Park, right? Exactly. <laughs> it's an opportunity to take advantage of this park that we have in Dallas. Okay, so how many folks are you expecting this year? We are expecting 75,000 people to come out, so That's we're really a lot. excited. Yes, yes. <laughs> it's, it's a big reach, but and we you know, have a lot to offer and we have uh, so many different opportunities for people to come engage with us. Anything new this year that you haven't had before? We have so much that's new this year. Um, we've definitely expanded the footprint of our Eco Expo. We're gonna have a really amazing NASA exhibit. Um, they're coming out in a really big way. We're gonna have uh, actually the National Park Centennial kickoff. Um, is So their centennial year is 2016. They're kicking it off with us um, at Earth Day Texas. And so there's a lot of activities and a lot of groups like that that are coming out that it's brand new and it's really exciting. And the Solar Car Derby. What is yes. that? It sounds like a lot of fun. It's really fun, um, and we're you know starting to get more involved with that. But there's actually these national competitions for um, schools that build these solar cars. I mm -hmm. mean, it's incredible um, the engineering that goes into these cars. And so they're going to be coming out and showing the work that they've done. I've seen some of the pictures. I mean, you have to check out these cars <laughs> because it's amazing that you know these are high school students and students that are building these um, actual or just amazing pieces of machinery. These so. are brilliant high school students. Well, there's, there's <laughs> exactly. <All> right, <laughs> I'm well, impressed. It sounds like a lot of fun. Fifth anniversary. Thank you so much for coming and telling us all about it, and hopefully we can get some more people to come out and, and learn more about uh, these issues. Yes, we look forward to seeing you there. All right. And for a complete schedule of the events for Earth Day Texas, visit EarthDayTexas.com. That's EarthDayTX.org, .org rather. And we'll be right back with more of Five Talk Street.